Hey everybody, Randy with Rashley's Border Q. Today we're going to be cooking up a catfish fillet and trying out some of that new Chupacabra special blend on the Blackstone griddle. We hope you all come right on back. We'll start getting the griddle cleaned up, get the fish spiced, and get it on. First we'll hit it with a splash of water and just wipe it with a paper towel because I can't find my cotton towels. Got to be very careful though, this is very, very hot. You don't want to burn yourself with a steam. Oh yeah, it's sizzling. Good enough. We're going simple, simple on this today. We want the flavor of the chupacabra to come through. So I'm just going to rub the fish with some olive oil and then hit it with this chupacabra special blend. I'm also going to put some olive oil down on the grill so I'm just barely going to put enough on the fish to help the spices stick. Get the chupacabra on it. Hey, hey, hey. All right. One of the tricks to having fish not stick is to have the griddle nice and hot. And this is, I'm sure it's going to smoke the oil when we put it on. Yeah, it is. So let me get some oil spread down here. That's good for now. That smells good. Okay, I'm not timing the cook, so I don't know how long it's been on, but it's starting to turn gray all the way up to the upper edge here on the thicker part. Let's take a look, make sure it's not burning. Nope, just starting to turn black, looking awesome. We're going to go ahead and flip it. I'm going to put a little more oil down behind it here. I'm not going to put it in the same spot, I'm going to try to flip it into the spot behind it there. Kind of find some new hot steel to set it on. Oh, that looks good. That smells really good. Nice and blackened. One of the advantages of getting the grill nice and hot, I'm gonna go ahead and scrape up the spot where it was at previously in case I have to flip it back again. I'm going to put down a little oil in case we have to flip it again. Go ahead and spread it and let it get nice and warm. Actually nice and hot. I'm just not that familiar with griddled fish. I'd rather flip it and take a look at the other side than take a chance. Getting uh, starting to get flaky. We're just about done. I'm going to give it one last flip. All right, let's pick it up. No sticking. I forgot my plate, so I have to take my chances on the spatula, don't you know? All right, let me get this inside, and we're going to whoop up a taco. We got the fish inside nice and blackened it came out really really good uh, it's not burnt but it's got a nice crust that special blend worked real well to put a crust on the outside of it chupacabra special blend we got some mango pico de gallo i'll put a recipe down in the description box and maybe someday soon i'll do a video of uh, making some of this it goes real good with seafood tacos and we got some jicama tortillas. We're going to make the taco with a jicama tortilla. 
instead of flour or corn, try to cut a few carbs and make it a little bit healthier. Let's get these jicama tortillas loaded up with some of the good stuff and see what it tastes like. That's what counts. All right, got that jicama tortilla. I'm gonna put a little of the mango salsa on the bottom. And put some of this fish, nice and flaky, but moist. Oh yeah, it's flaking open there. That, that looks good, done, done just right. Nice and moist still, that's the key. Got to have a hot griddle. I had the Blackstone griddle turned all the way up. Let's taste that thing and see what we got. There we go. Dripping on the floor. The dogs will take care of the drips though. It's too pretty to bite into. No, it's not. Doggone it, that's good. The jicama's crunchy and a little cold, cool. That hot fish in there. That mango salsa with a little sweet, a little heat. Take another bite. That's a good taco. I was, I was right. When I tasted that special blend, I just had a feeling that it was going to be awesome on fish. And doggone, blackened catfish with a chupacabra special blend? I don't know if a chupacabra is a cat, but that's the cat's meow. <laughs> the chupacabra's got uh, a little bit of salt, a little bit of citric, maybe a lemon flavor in it. Um, got some heat, but the heat kind of tames down when you cook. When you first taste it on the tongue, it's, it's, it's got a pretty good bite, but the cooking with it causes it to tame down a little bit. It just gives it awesome flavor. I thought I liked chupacabra rub on fish until I taste a special blend. Now I know I love chupacabra special blend on fish. Again, tip of the day, get your griddle nice and hot and the fish won't stick. Get it hot before you put the fish down. If you put the fish on a lukewarm grill and let it warm up, it's gonna stick. We hope y'all enjoyed this, learned something. And uh, if you will, subscribe, click like, share with your friends. And guys, I appreciate you. And we hope to see you again later on down the road on Rashley's Border Queue. Adios.